Hi there and welcome to Overtime with the Oregonian. I'm Jen Burley joined by Eric Anderson and as you may know there was a big Les Schwab Bowl this weekend um, over at Hillsborough Stadium featuring um, some of the best high school senior football players kind of um, playing in an all-star game if you will uh, yep. North versus South and the South team came on top this year. Eric, what were your takeaways from the game? Yeah, the South played really well. Their offense was remarkable. I mean, they had our own declared Oregonian Athlete of the Year in Kellen Strom. He was, um, he was a standout player. He had a few big catches, a few big runs. They lined him, him up at quarterback for a few plays. So you could kind of see Coach Lane Johnson taking advantage of one of his star players and moving him all over the offense. But Beyond him, Eric Dungey was also a standout player. I mean, he, he was on point with his passes. He was running. He was, he was uh, laying into a few guys. He was going pretty hard out there. Not sure if Syracuse coaches would want to be seeing stuff <laughs> like that, but he was, he was playing hard, and it was good to see that. I mean, in an all-star game, sometimes that stuff gets lost on the side. Sometimes players aren't trying as hard. Dungey, 100% certain, was going as hard as he could. Um, the north side, they just had some trouble getting their offense going. They were running Westview's offense, um, and they had quarterbacks Austin Brisby and Jonathan Boland of Park Rose back there running the show and just couldn't quite uh, get in rhythm with the receivers they were alternating snaps I mean alternating series to Boland one series Brisby the next and I think that might have thrown them off a little bit with their rhythm a little bit it could have yeah so it, the offense a lot of people were expecting big things from the north because they had a lot of uh, athletic players that we'd seen in our various football recaps throughout the season but they couldn't get many points on the board 21 points um, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a stellar effort by the South. It, it was a great game. Yeah, one thing you never want to see in these type of games are injuries, and uh, Callan Strom did get hurt in the game. Do we know an update about that? He did. We haven't got an update yet. Uh, one of our reporters was going to check in and see if he'd gotten an MRI this, uh, this Monday. Um, it's, it's a little tough to see an injury like that when Strom's so close to packing up his things and heading down to Eugene to uh, take part in... Uh, baseball activities with the Ducks. So we'll, ha we'll be monitoring that to see if he uh, he's okay to get going. I mean, that's still a season up half year away, so he, yeah. he might be fine by then. But he was having trouble walking off the field toward the end of the game, and he had a, a large ice uh, packet on his knee. So it looked like it might have been, been something a little bit more serious, but it's still hard to say. Yeah, well, uh, we're hoping it's not too serious and he'll be uh, back out on the field in no time. Uh, but also, they take part in a lot of fun activities leading up to the game. Uh, one might not realize that they're staying in college dorms together. They're right. really bonding as a team. Yep. Um, how? What did the players take away from this experience, do you think? Yeah, and we kind of have this rule of thumb in sports journalism where at the end of a game you kind of give the losing team a little while to cool off. But if it's a game like this, everyone's still in positive spirits. And most of the players were quick to say like it was one of the most memorable weeks they've had in their lives. They met so many new friends, best friends, kids they're going to remember for the rest of their lives. Uh, yeah, a lot of guys highlighted the dorms as uh, a strong <laughs> bonding experience. You know, tight quarters make for uh, interesting conversations and a few of those guys got to share some of their stories at the player banquet the night before the football game. So that was also a great experience. Uh, we got video of that on Oregon Live. There was a few funny speeches, a few uh, smack talk sessions, <laughs> uh, particularly between John Boland and... Um, Not surprising. <laughs> uh, right, and Omar Hildago of yeah. uh, South Salem. Those guys yeah. were great. But yeah, a lot of guys said it was a great experience, and I, I imagine the Les Schwab Bowl will still be a, a trademark thing for these high school athletes every year. Yeah, great event, and it's really fun to send off these kids after one last game in the state of Oregon, too. Uh, all right, well, make sure you check out all of our Les Schwab Bowl coverage on OregonLive.com. And thanks for joining us on Overtime with the Oregonian. We'll see you next time.